Hello Revit users and ambitious architects or engineers. Today let's dig more deep into the family creation. I'm going to show you how to create a different set of parameters. And let's dive straight into that. Let's create a void form. I'm not sure if you know what does it mean, but oh, here it is an explanation of it. It basically removes part of a solid shape. So for example, let's create a void extrusion and it's better to create it in the reference plan. Let's select the set work plane, table base, that suits us perfectly. Let's create a void extrusion. Let's create a circle in the middle over here. Don't forget to center mark visible so we can align it to the reference plane as well. Lock it in so we're gonna have all the time in the center. We can create actually a different, let's say, uh, diameter dimension and we will be able to control the diameter of this void form uh, throughout the instance parameters. Let's create a new parameter over here, void diameter, let's say. Okay, hit OK. Now let's go to the 3D view and see it makes a cut of our solid, but if you select this void and untick this marker geometry, you'll see that we have a solid uh, form without a cut. So let's go to the parameters over here, and now let's create a, let's create a new parameter, which is um, yes no. So let's select it. Let's create let's say cut in the table. Let's make it an instance parameter, hit OK. Now let's go and select this void and over here select this rectangle, cut in the middle. Now if you're gonna go to the parameters, if you're gonna check it, it will create a cut in the table. If you load it into the project, you'll see um, what we're talking about. Here we have the same table, one is with cut, another is without it. If you select it under the instance parameters over here, if you press it, it will make a cut for you. You can also change the diameter of it, let's say to 500. Here it is. A simple uh, use of yes no parameter. Now I'll show you that you can use uh, different formulas for your family creation as well. So let's go back into the uh, our family. And for example, if you're gonna have a long table, if I'm gonna change the horizontal offset, or legs, for example, to two meters, right? There's a possibility that we need to have additional legs in the middle, let's say. Right, so let's create those legs. And let's go to the extrusion. Uh, let's change the set work plane to the reference plane. We want to create from reference plane to the table base. And let's create uh, those legs. Yeah, let's create them uh, in this in the same group, so uh, it's gonna be easier for us and faster, as well as we can use the same. Um, parameters that we do already have, if we select them and select diameter for legs, that's perfect, yeah, don't forget to um, align those uh, legs, lock it in, lock it in as well, There you go. Perfect. Let's set up the parameter for height of it. Let's go to the side view. Use align tool. Uh, just simply align to the reference plane. Use tab and read what is shown on the bottom left corner to be sure that you're setting the reference plane. Don't forget to hit it in. And now we have those legs, but we don't want those legs to appear. For example, if our table is 
not that big, right? We want to have them only if the length, for example, is uh, the horizontal length of it uh, is more than two meters, for example. So let's go to the parameters. Let's create additional one. New parameter, uh, additional legs, and create it as yes or no. Let's make it an instance parameter. And um, now let's associate this yes no uh, value with a formula. So over here, we're going to type in the if statement using horizontal offset dimension. So we can simply copy this uh, parameter. I want to note that uh, all those instance parameters has this default named in the end of it. It's, it indicates that these parameters are instance parameters. In this one, for example, it doesn't have this default name in the end, so it means that it is a type parameter. Okay, so let's uh, copy this parameter. And over here, let's type it in if, paste down. If it's more than 1000, then 1 is less than 2, which means yes, and 2 is less than 1, which means no. Now let's uh, hit apply and hit OK. Select these legs. And here you have a, a instance parameter under the visible. Press this uh, associate family parameter, this rectangle, and select additional legs. Hit OK. Now, um, as you can see, it is seen, but if you're going to go to the options and uh, parameters and change it to, let's say, 800, hit apply, it shows that they are grayed out a bit. So if you're not sure if it's working, I loaded the project. I'll write the previous version. Let's select it. And for example, let's increase the horizontal offset to 1200. And here we have those additional legs. Let's uh, make it 500 or 300. We don't have them. I hope that does make sense. Now, I want to have this cut in the middle of the table um, only when two of different parameters has yes statements. I mean, uh, for example, I want to have this cut only when this table has a height of, uh, let's say, one meter, and only then if those legs appear, right? So let's go to the uh, parameters and let's create a new parameter of maybe use this one cut in the middle and here let's type it in if uh, height for legs let's uh, copy this one if and height of legs is more than 600 And uh, if additional additional legs uh, are, has positive statement, then uh, one is less than two, which means yes, and two is less than one, which is false. Now here. Let's hit it OK. And now let's change the height of the legs. Let's say 1100. And now let's change the horizontal offset to 1200. Let's say. Here it is. If end statement works. So yeah, it was a brief explanation how you can add formulas to your parameters while creating families. And let's see in future videos. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. See ya!